Mountain Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. looks to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms. And by a lot, I mean all of them. Got it? I'll do my best, Mr. Blake. Stop him dead. Oh, <laughs> don't you worry. I've rapidly owned this town. Everyone here loves me. I'll be back later. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention. Hmm. A letter from Janus to someone called Zoe. It looks like a draft and is full of explicit descriptions of how unhappy Janus is with Zoe and her sister having been appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Huh. I've heard that name before. This is a good find, 47. Ah, you okay? Uh, man, yeah, I'm here now. It's all clear. Over. We're in lockdown. We don't take it. We can move out. I swear I have a license for it. I just don't bring it with me. You can't just confiscate my property. I need it to get rid of an aggressively invasive mole in this poor old man's backyard. Calm down, demolition man. Unless it's a flesh. We're gonna keep the plate marks on the sleeper and stuff like this, okay? Come on. Get it with the chest. We've dumped the hole. We can blow up the tunnel. We can go with the lead. Stuff like this. Or the American police force. I'm pretty sure it's a big thing to go out for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Come on, I am not... 
thoughts for this crash like the others. I really like guns, you know. But if Mr. Janice wants to smoke, why stop? He's aging. He's a man alive. I really don't think our duty goes that far. The old man wants a few smokes during the day, so what? He's older than the trees by now. Let him have some fun. It's not like we're tucking him into bed at night, making sure the covers are neatly folded around his frail old body. Yeah. Actually, nothing made you do that last night. Shut up! You're kidding! Thus, the actions of the first constant catch up with you. That feels like an easy way out for a man like Janus. Still. Okay, well, here goes. For Blake at the upcoming elections. Say, uh, you, I mean, uh, you guys haven't been poking around the frog habitat behind the house, have you? No. Oh, okay, great. It's, it's just that, well, I, I saw it on the A cigar box with a few cigars and a note inside. Well, this is very interesting. The note indicates that the box was given to Janus by the Constant, as per tradition, he writes. 47. This could mean the Constant and Janus meet up on a regular basis. Excellent find. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. Batty claims it interrupts the nesting birds and a species of frog that has been declared endangered. 
Must be a very important trip, given his poor health. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with a constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this.